I'm on a journey to understand how different food affects my body. I have embarked on a testing regime run by Zoe Science and Nutrition. This has included putting on a continuous blood glucose monitor, doing some tests with some controlled meals, collecting a poo sample and sending that off for analysis and doing a blood test. I've posted off my samples for analysis. Zoe, by way of the app, has been tracking my blood sugar responses and in particular those related to the muffins that I ate. They will then crunch all the test result numbers. Zoe will then give me scores for how different foods affect my body, enabling me to make informed choices about what I eat and what I don't eat. Join me in this video as I dig into my Zoe scores. I'm very excited to get home because my Zoe scores have arrived. Now I sent all my samples, which is blood and some poo off in the post. Zoe will have crunched the numbers from my blood glucose monitor. Having looked at my blood sugar response to the muffins that I ate, they will also analyze the results from my blood test to tell me how my body responds to the fats that were included within the muffins. And of course, the poo sample that I sent, they will analyze and they will tell me what is the diversity of my gut microbiome. Well, here we are then, the two Zoe reports. The first one is called Insights, part one, Zoe. Dietary inflammation profile. And the second report, which is 41 pages, my microbiome analysis. Let's dive into part one. Hello, Derek, here's your Insights report, dietary inflammation profile all 62 pages of it well it's all very nicely set out on page five it's telling us what we're doing here so phase one is the testing regime which you've seen in the previous videos by the way like and subscribe oh yes please phase two is called learn which is what we're doing now and this is reading our insight report to uh, discover what my personalised food responses are to the meals that I've logged using the Zoe app in the first, uh, first phase of testing. Phase three will be to discover my responses to different foods or meals. And I'm going to leave you a cliffhanger, so you'll have to keep going to the end of the video to see what my scores actually are. Hmm, cunning, eh? Phase four is Thrive. Once I get my Zoe scores, I can then be logging the meals I eat on a consistent basis to try and um, hone what I'm eating really so that my diet is better suited to me. So let's get stuck into the report. So first up is my blood sugar control. And my blood sugar control is a score of 64 which apparently is good. And compared to other people of a similar age and sex, I got 64. Other people could get between 52 and 29. I think that's quite a good, um, good thing to know. So I'm not that sensitive to eating a lot of sugary things. Whether that's to do with the fact that um, generally I don't really have a sweet tooth and I'm not really a big sweet um, sweet eater or eating things like cakes and whatnot, which we know are highly processed if we just buy them from the, the supermarket. Whether it's that, I don't really know. Well, next up is my blood fat control. And the scores on the doors are my blood fat control gets a score of 46, which is actually poor. Mm. My age, health and lifestyle have a big influence on my blood fat control, apparently. 
with most people deteriorating as they age. Well, so that's 46 for me. And in comparison to other people of a similar age and sex, they get uh, a range of 22 to 49. So pretty much in the, in the mid range. And that mid range is the middle 50%. So excluding the lower 25% and excluding the upper 25%. That's the middle. So pretty much Mr. Average really. But it does say here, my blood fat control can improve with changes to my diet and to my lifestyle which is what the Zoe program is all about. So finally, what is my gut score? My results. Zoe microbiome, normal. Zoe microbiome health score, relative abundance of good versus bad bacteria. So I've got 85, 85 is excellent. I'm actually quite pleased that I've got a good score for my um, gut microbiome, uh, in particular because in the last um, few months, year or so, I've really been trying to focus on having many more uh, vegetables, greater diversity of vegetables. The recommendation is to try and eat more than 30 different types of vegetable, which includes nuts, um, seeds um, per week. And I found that relatively easy to do. I've also been having kefir most mornings with my uh, breakfast instead of milk. And more recently, I've started uh, brewing my own kombucha, which is again, another good probiotic. The next part of the uh, Zoe process is that they now calculate based on my test results, my food scores. And these are food scores that are unique with me low score so between naught and 24 would be enjoy once in a while uh, a score of 25 to 49 would be enjoy moderation which is two to three times a week enjoy regularly which is anything from a score of 50 to 74 um, which is every other day and anything the score of 75 to 100 you can have as much as you want of the other thing that Zoe are very strong on is that no food's off the table. Um, you just need to be sensible and not eat lots of stuff that you've got a low score for and try and prefer or swap in stuff that you get a high score for. And in that way, I'm hoping to take these scores, being able to modify my sort of day on day, uh, week by week diet to improve it, to be optimising my diet, to be um, as effective and as helpful to me as it can be. So in summary, my scores, blood sugar, good score, 64. So I can relax with maybe the odd cake, the odd sweet thing, the odd Malteser maybe. Hmm, gives, uh, gives me an idea. But my fat scores are rather poor, which is a bit of a challenge because I particularly like cheese and I'm partial to the old steak. So I'm really gonna to have to work on that a little bit harder, I think. And it could be not just what I eat, but when I eat it through the day and how I sequence eating higher fat um, foods uh, throughout a day. My biome, microbiome score 85, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed with myself, but uh, can I keep it up? Thinking about the microbiome score, it is quite high in the, in the spectrum of what I could have got. And I just wonder how easy it would be to improve that. Or perhaps the challenge is really just maintaining quite a good level um, of diversity in my food that I eat or plant food, plant-based food that I eat. It will take a little bit of time, I think, to work out how all this scoring is going to affect me on a day-to-day -day basis. That will be the subject of another video to see how I'm scoring foods and what changes I'm making. So you remember to like and subscribe, please, ladies and gentlemen. So thus far, could I recommend the Zoe program still? Well, yeah, I think I could. I think it's been excellent. I think I paid about 250 pounds to get the tests done. It's not an inconsiderable amount of money. And a lot of people would think that's a lot to pay for this sort of thing. 
Uh, and yeah, it, it is. But if you think about how it could change your life and improve your life over the long term, is £250 that much to pay? That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe because then you'll catch my next video on the Zoe program, which will be in a few weeks time, once I've had a little bit of a chance to use the app, see how I am going to make some long-term beneficial changes to my dietary patterns. And in the meantime, while you are waiting on tender hooks, why not check out Zoe's website for yourself? It could actually change your life. Thank you.